All right, let's talk about the Seattle Seahawks. Obviously, football is finally back, or at least it will be a few short days from now. And this is a Seahawks team not getting a lot of positive attention. I get it, West Coast, that happens a lot. But they're a lot better than people give them credit for back-to-back winning season. But this Seattle team under new head coach Mike McDonald just got outstanding news as they get ready for week one. Exciting stuff. I'm Nick, and this is Saturday Morning Inspection. All right, so this Seahawks squad, as we head into the regular season here, there's a few question marks. I think a lot of people are really underrating the talent level on the Seattle team. But one legend, one all-time great, one Hall of Famer, one of the smartest guys in the game, probably in history, has come out with a really strong endorsement of the Seahawks squad. Let's get into this report, and then we'll talk about it more on the other side. This is courtesy of Sporting News. It's not just Homer happy fans who are bullish about the Seahawks this year, though. Former Seattle All-Pro cornerback Richard Sherman now works as an NFL analyst, both on Thursday Night Football and on his podcast. Sherman sees this as an obvious playoff team and believes they are a real dark horse team. Here's what he shared on his latest pod. No question about it. They are poised to have a really good season. Obviously, they will make the playoffs. They were built well to begin with. They have the receiving core that is explosive. They have the explosive back in Kenneth Walker. Geno looks as good as he's ever been. If you can keep him upright and protected, he's as good as anybody right now. The biggest leap is going to be defense. They're stockpiling on a lot of defensive lines. Jaron Reed, Leonard Williams, Brian Murphy, and Boya Mafe at the edge. Chinna, Brian Murphy is going to finish the system very well. Such tremendous depth. Reek and Witherspoon are going to have great years. This team is going to be a dark, dark horse. Look, we know things about Richard Sermon. We know he speaks his mind. We know he's incredibly smart. We know if he hated the Seattle Seahawks, he would not say these things. He is not a homer, as report highlights. He's a very smart person who's not afraid to call it as he sees it. He's a balls and strikes kind of guy. Always has been that way back with his playing days with the Seattle Seahawks. So I think this is an absolutely outstanding update for Seattle, and I think people should probably start to take notice. I'm curious what your thoughts are on this, but first, Seattle Seahawks fans, in the comment section below, you heard the words from Richard Sermon. Now's your chance. Give us your prediction for the Seattle Seahawks 2024 campaign, final win and loss record, 12 and 5, 9 and 8, 10 and 7, whatever it may be. Give us your final prediction. Get it in writing right now. Seattle Seahawks 2024 regular season record and put it in the comment section below. But, Mize, what are your thoughts on this latest Seahawks news? This is a pretty astounding update. If you're a Seahawks fan, you know, I think this sounds really good, and when you dig into it, I think, like they said, this is a Seahawks team that really, on paper, was built very, very well. And what did you need? You just needed a boost. Pete Carroll is a great coach, legendary, all-time coach, but I think there need to be a change of scenery for things. Go ahead, move on, bring in Mike McDonald, a young, very smart, up-and-coming type of guy. And I think uh, Sherman says a lot of great stuff here. This is an offense who's really great. You got the playmakers at the receivers. You got Geno Smith, who's looking really good. A lot of great things on offense. But what does Richard Sherman know best? He knows defense best. And he talks about all the new pieces on the defensive line that they've gotten. All of these guys that are waiting to take the step up and be the next guy. You got two great corners. And what else you got? You have Mike McDonald in the scheme that he brings as well that has been dominant everywhere, whether it's Michigan, whether it's Baltimore. He's been absolutely fantastic. So I think what Richard Sherman is saying is, you look at the Seahawks team, all they needed, they're, they're solid at the core. This is a foundation team that's really, really good, just needed a little bit of a boost to make them go further. And he says it's an obvious playoff team. This is a team that I think without McDonald would have made the playoffs. Again, this is a team that is a dark horse now to go all the way. They have the resources they need. They have the scheme and the great coaching they need. I think this is the Seahawks team that is looking... I think, to be one of the favorites in the NFC. They're very, very tricky. They're very tough. They're going to have a great defense and a very explosive offense as well. I don't know what more you could ask for, and I'm excited to see what these guys are going to do this season. Yeah, I think there's an interesting dynamic right now affecting the Seattle Seahawks. If you look at what the odds makers are saying in terms of win-loss totals, they have it right now, the over-under at 7.5. And And I think the reason for that is there's a lot of variability with Seattle, right? You had Pete Carroll for so many years, and you just kind of knew what you were going to get. And all these modelers, all these analysts, the Vegas people, the odds makers, they basically really handicap anytime there's a new coach, especially if it's a first-time head coach, because they have no idea what's going to happen. Even if they think he's going to be a genius, there's a chance he's a total idiot, right? Just look at historically in the National Football League. There is, of course, a very small percent chance, I don't think it'll happen, that Mike McDonald is the worst coach of all time, right? So that's why you see a lot of odds makers really handicap it down. 
The other fact of the matter is the NFC West is absolutely brutal. The Rams are going to be good. We know the 49ers are going to be good. The Arizona Cardinals, I think, are going to be a little bit better this year. They're kind of feisty last year anyway, right? I think they were their win-loss record wasn't very good, but they played a lot of people really competitively. So I think people look at the NFC West. They look at the fact there's a new head coach. And they sit there and say, okay, we can't really, there, there's so much variability here. We have to kind of put them right at eight wins because it, it could go either way. But when you actually look into the data, look into the analytics last year, the team that missed the postseason, they had a top 11 offense according to PFF and the 14th ranked defense according to PFF. I think everyone expects a much improved defense, both talent wise on paper with the additions of guys like Murphy. And of course, Mike McDonald with his genius schemes that we've covered ad nauseum this offseason. So you're looking at a team that's heading into the season with a top 10 offense, essentially, and a defense that should vault into the top 10, top eight. So if you look at top 10 National Football League offense, top eight defense, that's a recipe for postseason, right? So again, I would ignore Seahawks fans, what you see in terms of odds makers and people's predictions to make the postseason. I think a lot of that is based on first time head coach. We had Pete Carroll for so many years. We don't know what to expect, right? It's because there's so much variability there. They kind of kind of have to model it in there by crunching down their possible win-loss totals. I think this is a team that's better than they were last year, both in terms of strategy, scheme, and talent. And they won nine games last year and just missed the postseason. I think this is a 10-11 win team. And I think there's a real strong chance Seattle makes a lot of noise late in the regular season and maybe makes a really nice playoff push as well.